The Pocket 2 is a tiny camera that can get big results. The mechanical gimbal smooths out the rotation of the X, Y and Z axes, but there's often that telltale vertical bobbing motion when walking or running, and that can be hard to get rid of. This fourth axis stabilizer from Scotty Make Stuff promises to help. It makes you look like a pro, kind of, but does it actually work? Let's take a look. First of all, big thanks to Scotty and his team for sending me one of these to play with for free. So what is it exactly, and how does it work? Well, a gimbal like the one on the Pocket 2 cancels out rotational motion, but what it can't do is cancel out the changes in elevation your hand makes when you walk. Scotty's fourth axis stabilizer is designed to do exactly that. There's a dampened spring here, and weights directly under the camera, and these work together to essentially dampen or cancel out these vertical movements. The motion of my hand going up and down is absorbed and the camera more or less stays where it is. There are lots of different ways this can be configured. What I found to give me the smoothest results was a somewhat outside the box configuration. I added a mini tripod to extend the handle so my hand is right over the center of gravity, but do this at your own risk because it could potentially break the tripod socket out of the plastic. I also added a mini ball socket so I can mount the camera pointing straight out horizontally. This means the camera's gimbal can cancel out the movement from the rig swinging side to side. Whereas with the camera mounted vertically, I was getting too much side to side movement in my footage with this configuration. With this setup, it's really well balanced and more comfortable to hold for hip and chest level shots. But if you're doing a lot of eye level shots, a configuration like this is more comfortable for long days of shooting. If I had just one criticism, it would be that this piece could do with being just a little bit thicker. It does flex a little bit and if it was stiffer, it might make the footage even more smooth. It took me some time to really understand how to dial in the mechanical settings just right. And there's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to using it. But once I started to get the hang of it, I was able to get some pretty smooth results. This was the last shot I wanted to get at this location, and everything had gone well up to this point. And then... So what happened was, I was walking backwards, not realizing I was so close to the edge, and when I reached the edge of the platform, I had to quickly step down onto the forest floor. I didn't fall, but the force of that sudden change in elevation caused the rig to break. And it was that same piece that I mentioned earlier that could do with being a bit thicker that broke. Now, if I hadn't dropped down off the platform so suddenly, I don't think this would have broken. I was also using both of the supplied 100 gram weights under the camera, plus a ball and socket mount, which all added a lot of weight. And I had the camera mounted horizontally, pointing straight out, which because of leverage, puts even more stress on that piece of plastic. I'm probably the only person who's managed to break mine, but I still think that piece could do with some beefing up. 
The good news is, I was able to MacGyver it back together thanks to Scotty putting tripod sockets in exactly the right places and using this mini magic arm from Small Rig. So, the question is, do you need something like this? Well, it depends what you do with your Osmo Pocket. It's probably overkill for vlogging or making family holiday videos, but I know for some of you, the Pocket or Pocket 2 is your only camera and you like to push its capabilities to the absolute max. This lets you squeeze out that last 10 or 15% and helps you capture more professional looking motion shots. It's also good for people who film tour videos where they walk through city streets, and this would definitely smooth out all those footsteps. If you want to get one of these, there's a link in the description. If you find this video useful or interesting, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.